All right, so we're going to do the drops for this lab now, and I'm going to have a little bit of help from my lab assistant, Mr. Harrison. Say hello. Hello. He's going to help me out putting the drops on the penny. So we have our, our soap, our 70% alcohol, and this is tap water, not distilled water, because I brought distilled water home in a water bottle and left it on the counter, and my wife drank every bit of it. But the good news about that is that she is now fully hydrated and healthy, and that's all that really matters. And the other good news uh, is that we are going to do the drops. I'm not going to have you record and count the drops because that seems a bit crazy. So in this data table that you have here, you have five trials with the three different variables. Harrison and I are going to go ahead and do the drops and input that data and then with that data you can then finish the rest of the lab. So, all right, so for the data table two, the statistics, I'm going to let you do that yourself. I've already shown you how to do that, so I'm not going to do a video for that, except for the standard error. I did not do a video for it, but uh, it is in your notes on page 12 of your student notes, standard error of the mean, there's the formula. It's just your standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. So I'm not going to show you how to do that statistics, um, but if we move down, you got to do another graph, and then it has some statements for you. Make a claim about how soap affects the hydrogen bonds between water molecules. So after watching the lecture on biochemistry of water and also reading what we, we read at the top of this paper, Make a claim and be specific. How exactly is the soap affecting the hydrogen bonds between water molecules? And by all means, do a little bit of research. Uh, there's certain chemicals in soap that do something to the water molecules, but I'm going to let you look that up. And then it says, using data from this experiment, provide evidence that supports the claim. Uh, <clears throat> using background knowledge from this lab, provide reasoning that uses the evidence to justify the claim. So, this, this is what science is all about, is using evidence from your experiment to justify your reasoning. And then it goes on to ask about the polarity, compare, make a claim to compare the polarity of water to the polarity of isopropyl alcohol, and then provide evidence that supports that claim. Again, that's what science is all about, is providing evidence to support claims, not just making complete uh, opinionated claims. So the next thing here is it talks about a t-test. So for that I'll do a, a separate video where I show you guys how to do the t-test. Uh, similar to the chi-square test, however there are a few things that are different.